hello world and in this video I would like to show you how you can get HTML of the page that was built with the JavaScript framework JavaScript framework like uh, React, Angular, Ember uh, any framework because in the end they all work the same a first uh, client will have to load the JavaScript files uh, execute them in the browser and then browser will be able to actually render content or HTML um, in order to demonstrate how it's working I'm gonna use this website called uh, web scrapping playground site and it's built with the uh, angular so if we'll just try to grab the link and um, and issue a get request in the postman uh, in the response uh, in the response object we'll see actually there's no no HTML no content like see there's no text no images no links the only thing it contains is uh, JavaScript files and that's why uh, it ends happening because we don't have browser environment to execute this JavaScript right so that's the problem if you want to scrap web scrap uh, website uh, build with JavaScript uh, that can be a problem but fortunately there is uh, it's, it's pretty easy to to solve this problem and in this video I'll show you two ways how you can how you can solve this problem and get HTML uh, from the page that was built with JavaScript so for the first approach we're gonna use uh, Puppeteer which is uh, Google's tool for end-to-end -end testing and why it's why it's useful for us is because it provides this uh, browser environment so we can open page uh, Puppeteer will then execute the JavaScript right and then it will actually render the HTML so then we can get this HTML and uh, send it back right pretty pretty easy and for second approach uh, we can use API service um, that will accept the URL and I guess it provides the same thing it, it basically provides this virtual browser environment so it will open the page it will uh, execute JavaScript it will render content and, and, and send you back right um, but let's let's go to the demo part and let's start with the puppeteer um, so I have this simple script I prepared here don't uh, don't worry don't try to type it I will make it as a code snippet and I'll provide it in a video description so it, then you can download it test it play it or reuse it uh, but actually it's it's pretty simple it's just accepts a get request then we can pass URL as a as a parameter and then we will we'll uh, call this function which is actually using puppeteer it will launch uh, puppeteer it will open a new page and it will navigate to the desired URL that we pass here then basically puppeteer will uh, run this virtual browser it will execute internally all this JavaScript uh, scripts right it will render the content HTML and then we can get it back here and and then we'll just return it so we send it back as a, yeah as a response basically uh, but the script is already running listening uh, localhost 3000 so if we'll go back to puppeteer and we'll grab URL of our test website and we'll go here so we just need to provide the oh, actually already have it here so we just need to provide the euro and the value for our desired website and then we're just gonna send the request and hopefully yes you see now uh, now we're actually getting back all the HTML markup text all the links uh, images uh, everything so that's the that's the main idea instead of having only uh, JavaScript files now we have the HTML content of this page and now you can actually do the web scrapping part and extract all the needed information right so it's it's, it's pretty easy 
Um, so I think that's all with the puppeteer and now let's go to the second approach to the proxy bot uh, API service so if we'll navigate to documentation part then there will be JavaScript rendering section and we just basically need to grab this link uh, we'll go to puppet uh, to postman and then again we need to send get request and we just need to replace the again URL with the uh, our URL, right? But in our case, it's this web scrapping playground site. So we're just gonna put it here. The important thing to to remember because I did it <laughs> several times when I was testing it, <laughs> I forgot to add this render JavaScript uh, flag and then it's it's not actually doing it it will just return you the uh, basically this response right so uh, it's it's important to add this flag then the service will actually uh, render the content but let's try to, to send request and see what kind of response we get back um, yeah so here you can see URL and uh, yeah render javascript flag okay but we have uh yeah we have our content back and it's yeah you can see it's html exactly same html as we have here um yeah so i think that's that's all i wanted to show you guys um i just remember i was struggling with this problem when i had to web scrap one of the website that was built with the JavaScript and it was a uh, kind of problem to get this content but yeah fortunately there's like many ways or many tools you can choose from so it's it's actually pretty easy to get this content uh, content of the website as HTML back uh, so I, I, I really hope it was useful for you I, I really hope you found some answers that will hope to, uh, help to solve your problems um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just uh, write in the, in the comment section and I'll try to answer those. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. Um, have, a have a nice day, guys. Bye. See you.